President Trump left this morning for his whirlwind tour of Europe. He starts with NATO, then he goes on to Britain. NATO's in Brussels, uh, goes on to Britain, meets the Queen. While in Britain, the Mayor of London will allow a giant baby Trump balloon to fly over the city. Come on in, Steve Hilton, who is the former strategy director for David Cameron, formerly Britain's Prime Minister. Steve, I'll get right to it. I think that balloon is an absolute insult and a disgrace. What say you? I, I agree, and that's how it's intended. But, you know, first of all, I think President Trump is going to have the last laugh here because he's arriving in the UK off the back of a booming economy as the result of his policies from a big historic move on the Supreme Court that he's been widely praised for, while the UK is in a total shambles over Brexit. Yes. And then there's one last thing to remember is that, you know, frankly, if England beat Croatia tomorrow, then no one's going to give a flying balloon about anything <laughs> other than the true. World Cup final. <laughs> it's about the same as when the president arrives in Brussels today, right about the time when France plays Belgium in the <laughs> other semi-final of the World Cup. <laughs> then he goes on to England, to Britain, and there's the other semi-final, England against Croatia. You're, right, you're quite right, Steve, but I, I'm having a hard time getting over that insult from the mayor yes. of London. Can you imagine a similar balloon flying over New York City, uh, looking at, say, Angela Merkel in a diaper? Can you imagine such an insult? Of course, it's not going to happen. Uh, this is my opinion. I'm sorry, I want to get to you. Uh, Brexit. Mm. Do you think it will ever happen? Do you think we will, uh, the Brits will ever extricate themselves really fully from European socialism? I really hope so, Stuart, and it's hard to see. And this is the consequence. What we're seeing here is the consequence of having someone leading the Brexit process in Theresa May who doesn't believe in Brexit. She, voted, she campaigned against it, voted against it, and she, her whole mindset on Brexit has been one of, of seeing it as some kind of threat to be minimised rather than an opportunity to be seized. The problem is it's very hard to see how you can get rid of her and replace her with someone who truly believes in Brexit, like Michael Gove, for example, mm -hmm. who would be great, because no one really... They all think she's terrible, but there's no mechanism that anyone can look, look to for really challenging her. And the parliamentary arithmetic basically keeps her safe. And so it does look as if Britain's just going to stumble on into this semi-Brexit, as Boris Johnson called it in his re resignation letter. And yet... There are the Brits, political chaos, the country's in a shambles, politically at least. They're flying this stupid balloon over London, right. but they desperately need us. They desperately need President Trump yes. and a trade deal. Yes, and that's the most stupid thing about the Brexit proposal that Theresa May put together, which Boris Johnson resigned over. That proposal would actually block the UK from doing the kind mm -hmm. of big, beautiful trade deal that the president actually wants to do. It's completely mad. Well said. Well said indeed, Steve Hilton. Any time you want to come on this program, you are very welcome, sir. Thanks for being here. Thank it's you, It's always a pleasure. See you soon. Gotcha, Steve.